New today, the FAA confirms it will lead the investigation into how a co-pilot managed to fall from this plane in midair. The plane went on to make an emergency landing at RDU International on Friday. WRL's Joe Fisher is live at the airport after spending the day digging for more information. Joe, what would you find out? Gerald, this is very much still a mid-air mystery. The investigation still only just beginning as we zoom into this plane, which is still here at RDU. The one person who likely has the most information is the surviving co-pilot. But three days later, and we're learning both the FAA and NTSB have still not interviewed that person about what happened. Hey, we've, uh, we've lost our right wheel. We'd like to proceed to Raleigh and make the landing at Raleigh. Problems with the landing gear on this CASA 212 aircraft forced two pilots to make an emergency landing, but only one pilot made it safely to the ground. The other, 23-year-old Charles Crooks, fell 4,000 feet into this Fuquay Varina neighborhood where police recovered his body Friday. Because this is definitely one of the strangest aviation events that I've observed. Crooks fell as the pilot in command was en route from Rayford to RDU International. The CASA 212 is a military style plane used for parachuting that has a rear ramp door that can be opened mid flight. Still, it's unclear how Crooks fell out. This young man could have gone in the back to check out the status of the landing gear. James Krause is an aviation accident attorney with 40 years experience. But I would not have thought that it would be unusual if one person just said, let me go back and take a look. Or if the captain or pilot in command said, let me continue on the controls. Why don't you go back and see what we've got back there? Authorities have yet to interview the surviving co-pilot. Kraus says any cockpit voice recorder could have answers about the pilot's movements mid-flight. Crook's family says he was born to fly, a pilot and flight instructor who was living out his dream. He, uh, he loved, loved where he was. And Crooks was working for Rampart Aviation. That is a company that has some military contracts. We have repeatedly reached out to them so far. They have only said they will be not, not be commenting on this accident. Gerald. Boy, such a bizarre story. Joe Fisher, with a story we're going to continue to follow up on. Thank you.